Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing, review, and partial teardown of a ThinkPad P50S. And of course, unboxing means I get to play with knives. Yippee! Oh man, need the big knife for this one cut. Oh, thank goodness I had this one knife for that little cut. Anyways, uh, let's look into it. And let's see what we have inside. Okay, something I'm happy to see. Getting a lot more cardboard in these things. Almost wonder why they didn't give us that. Anyways, we're getting rid of the plastic and we're going with the cardboard packing material. I'm really happy with that because the, uh, the old plastic I couldn't recycle in my area. And I am pretty recycle conscious. Like, let's face it, we're giving this world to our kids. When we're done, we gotta take care of it. Anyways, here's the unit itself. Wow, it takes a really small battery. Let's see what else we got in here. Of course, in the corner pocket, we get our fun stuff. A little battery. Really curious to see if this is one of those stations that have uh, a battery on the inside too. So the power bar. This battery is so thin. I'm guessing that there will be 68. There, will, I'm betting there is an internal battery on the inside of this. I'm going to research that, and hopefully I'll have a good explanation for you as to why they do it that way. So first off, this honestly feels about as heavy as the T420 the t430 or 50 just not not very heavy it's maybe three or four car three or four lenovo carbon fourth generations very large i like that oh we actually got a number pad over here nice i get a lot of customers that are disappointed when they don't have the number pad of course this is an i7 i do like the batteries of course you got that old ibm uh red button on in the middle i almost wonder if my customers aren't going to have uh as much of a hard time with this trackpad as I do with the other. Since the keyboard is bigger, like the trackpad is the same size as it is in all the other laptops, but since the keyboard's bigger, I think people might actually be able to type on it without palming it. Anyways, what do we got on the side here? We have, I hope you can see that, we have autofocus, HDMI, beautiful. We're overlooking that too much. Headset. Uh, SD card, uh, Cat5, of course. A lot of people think we should get rid of that, but I think those people are crazy. And on the other side, we have Display Mini. They love the Display Mini. I have no idea why. And two more USBs and, of course, a lock port. And we get our CPU fan area right there. Nothing really on the back. Not much on the bottom. And, oh, it does have it. Okay, so I was telling you about one time when I had a customer that had a computer... They put it on their, in their luggage, and they closed instead of turning it off. And when we got to their destination, it didn't turn on. And it has one of those CMOS battery resets that we had to use to get that computer going again. Right here, you just uh, hit that with a paper clip, and it resets the CMOS, which is very good. So, I'm going to turn this beast on. I've got a quick idea how she does. Oh, I have to plug it in. My life is so hard. No charge. What's up with that? Okay, I'll see you soon, folks. It's alive! Alive! Ooh, backlit keyboard. Nirike. Now, if there's one thing I definitely miss from old computers is having hard drive lights. I don't care if it has an SSD on the inside. It's nice to know when the hard drive's firing. Aha, proof! Backlit keyboards. Very nice. So one interesting thing that I'm noticing just up front is that the sensitivity for the mouse is very high, which is exactly how it should be. All right, so interestingly enough, this thing isn't as uh, heavy on graphics as I thought it would be. Maybe I should give it an update and try again because I was under the assumption from, from the Lenovo website that the P-Series was supposed to be workstation series. Anyways, the processor gets 6.9, memory gets 7.3, graphics get 3.9. I don't get that. Gaming graphics, 6.7. Why are the gaming graphics so much better? Oh, you know what? I bet it's because this will be the regular graphics will be the regular video card. And the gaming graphics, you see these, uh, usually these laptops have two video 
uh, processors on it. Let me check it out just to make sure. And the primary hard disk is 5.9. I believe that means it's an SSD. I'll have to look into it. Let me make sure. So the way that you can tell if your laptop has two chips is go into uh, device settings or device manager. So a lot of people are surprised to find that their system will have two uh, video processors. And the reason it does that is because it switches over to the more hardcore one when it needs to. Let's try to display it after. Yes, that's the case. That is the case here. Just to prove it to you noobs who don't believe me, see that open Intel HD graphics 520 and then an NVIDIA Quadro M, uh, M500M. Okay, M500M. So yeah, this is one of those situations where a uh, system has two video processors. Awesome. Okay, so I'm, I am happy with that. They needed that because the person that has this is going to be doing CAD, so we had better have something good. All right, so what we got here is an i7, 8 gigabyte, uh, 8 gig RAM, sorry, and 500 gigabyte hard drive, hard disk drive. We got four cores in here and they are operating at 2.5 gigahertz. These are i7 6500U systems. So the next thing I'm going to do is run a nicer benchmark. I really don't know what's up with Lenovo these days, but I keep running into this crazy crash across multiple systems, multiple different types of systems from Lenovo. Internet Explorer keeps crashing. I don't know why. The only way that I can fix that is if I reset the settings from within Internet Explorer. Just a heads up in case you have that problem. You might need to do the same thing. Oh man, you can definitely tell that this thing needs a solid state drive. It just ain't as uh, snappy as it should be. Anyways, I'm going to be running some PC Mark 7 uh, basic edition on this sucker and we'll see how she turns out. Alright, so here's the results of the benchmark. The score is 2917 with the NVIDIA... Oh, it's here it says NVIDIA K620. That's interesting. That's not what device manager told me. So it says here K620 with the memory of uh, two gigs basically. Um, processor i7-6500 and let's see what else we got. Yeah, motherboard Lenovo. So that's actually a pretty good score. So yeah, the next thing we got to do is tear her down, or at least uh, crack her open and see how to change the RAM and the motherboard, or just the hard drive, either way. All right, let's see how long this takes me to get into. It looks pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy like I deal with on the, the Otter HP units, but I'm thinking there's got to be an internal. Oh, I got to get a smaller screwdriver. That was too small. And that one's just right. clippies all over the place okay so basic advice for getting into these things if I ever had to do it again is definitely you need patience you need to take off all the screw or undo all the screws is the type of thing the screws won't actually come out I believe yeah they got little stoppers so that uh, they don't come out all the way and then you got to go around it with a removal tool just to make sure that you unclip all the clippies. And there's the giant internal Lenovo battery right there. Okay, let's have a closer look. All right, so here on the inside of the unit, we do have that internal battery I was telling you about. We got the cute little Lenovo speaker. Look how cute. Oh, we got two of them. We got one over here too. We got the CMOS battery that connects uh, with the wire right to there. Right here we have the Wi-Fi. The antenna is going up and around right here. Oh, that's interesting. More antennas. I guess you could have a second Wi-Fi thing here if you want, but actually what I'm pretty sure that's too 
is if you want to put an M2 card in there. We have two spots for RAM. I'm very happy to see that. Hard drive. Of course, we have the uh, CPU fan. That's where the CPU will be. Draw heat to the fan. Fan blows out. I don't think there's much else here to show you. Oh yeah, that's a warm drive. That's definitely a solid state drive with, uh, or sorry, that's definitely a hard, an HDD with how warm that thing is already. But yeah, that's what's on the inside. And then if you want to take the hard drive out, you just take the, that screw off and that one and that one and then the whole thing should come apart. Anyways, that's it for me, Nev from Nev's Tech Bits. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And uh, yeah, take care of each other. Have a good one, folks. Bye-bye.